Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to empty your recycle bin here when your computer reboots. Pretty easy to do. Uh, we've got a guide here that I'll link to. And it also includes instructions for Windows 10 home users because you do not have Group Policy Editor, but you can do it by clicking this link right here or follow the directions in that guide. So what we're going to do for advanced users so they know we're going to create a batch file and then we're going to call it from Group Policy Editor and we're going to test it blah 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 so what we want to do is copy this code right here right click copy and either open your favorite text editor or right click on your desktop and click on new and then click on text document and name it whatever you want I'm gonna call it empty recycle bin you can call it anything you want so basically it's a text as you can see when you line your mouse over that's okay so we're going to paste that code in there, right, like that, with a control V, and close it to save, and click save. Now, what we have here is, you don't see dot text or anything on here. So it's still a text document. So what we want to do is take File Explorer, open that up, and you want to click over here where it says View, and show file name extensions right here. You can just come back and change that later if you like. So we'll minimize that, and as you can see, now we see it's empty recycle bin dot text. Back up the TXT, change it to BAT. Say yes to the scary, scary warning, and we are good to go. So now, next up, we're going to want to open Group Policy Editor. We're going to do that with the Windows key plus R, and we're going to do GP Edit dot MSC, and that should bring up the Group Policy Editor. Now we want to dig our way down. It's right here somewhere. Where is it? Computer configuration, Windows settings. So here's your computer configuration, Windows settings. Scroll on down to scripts. Start up shutdown as you can see. And click on shutdown. Now, what we want to do here is right click on the shutdown and select properties. And then we want to browse to the file, which reminds me while we're here, we created it on the desktop. I don't know where you're creating it. But you want to put it somewhere where you know where it is, where it's not bothering you. It doesn't really matter where it is. Just put it somewhere where you know where it's at. So I left it on the desktop for simplicity for the video. So here we are. We want to click on Add. And we're going to browse right here to the file you just did. So we're going to go to my desktop. And there is empty recycle bin dot bat. Click OK. Once again, click OK. And you're all set on shutdown. Before you reboot your computer though, let's test it. So you've got the batch file, so just go ahead and double click it and watch the recycle bin right here. Double click. Everything runs a little slow here, yours will probably go faster. And as you can see, my recycle bin is empty. So that's it, we know it works. We can set it and forget it, and all we gotta do now is next time we restart, it will be all set, your recycle bin will be empty. There you go, kind of a neat little trick, so hope you dug it. Click the subscribe, like the video would be cool. Thanks for watching, see you next time.